First, open Android Studio on your computer and make sure it's updated to the latest version. Then go to the top menu and click on File, and from the drop-down, select Settings if you're on Windows or Preferences if you're on Mac. Now, from the left sidebar, scroll down and click on Plugins. In the search bar at the top, type Cursor AI and press Enter. Once you see the Cursor AI plugin, click on Install. The installation will start and might take a few moments. If you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. After the installation is done, you'll be asked to restart Android Studio. Click on Restart IDE to apply the changes. Once Android Studio reopens, you'll see a new Cursor AI icon or tab added to your workspace. Next, click on the Cursor AI icon to open it. Here, you'll need to log in with your Cursor account or connect your OpenAI API key to start using the AI Assistant. Once you're logged in, you can start typing prompts or questions in the Cursor panel, such as generate a login screen in Kotlin or fix this error in my main activity. The AI will then write or edit the code for you directly inside Android Studio. You can also highlight any line of code, right-click, and select the Cursor AI option to explain, debug, or optimize the code. Make sure your internet connection is active while using it because Cursor AI needs to communicate online to generate responses. After setup, you can use Cursor AI in Android Studio to write faster, fix bugs easily, and generate full app components just by describing what you want. It's a powerful way to boost your productivity and make app development much easier.